This is a journey to explore an Alaskan glacier. We're being flown from Seward, Alaska to a location close to Godwin Glacier. It's a dramatic introduction to an adventure. It's just so wild how much this changes every day. Upon our arrival, we begin exploring the delicate features of this unusual landscape. Oh, it's really thin. Yeah. It's early and the frozen environment is just beginning to awaken. Well, if you look in the reflection, a huge slab crystal. Yeah. You can see, yeah, kind of like waves. Yep. Kind of wind-driven mm -hmm. formation. Yep. So that wind is actually what's helping it to freeze. A chilling effect? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. evaporating any heat from the water. Wow, you can really feel the chill as you approach the glacier. Like that freezer or refrigerator wind, even though it's not windy, it, you can still feel it. An immediately notable characteristic of glaciers is their unbelievable and deceptive scale. This glacier is so massive that it's actually really hard to grasp how big it is. That only looks like it's you know, 15, 20 minutes away. What are we looking at for time? More realistically, it's about an hour's walk. Really? Yeah. It's about a mile, mile and a half away. And it just looks so small because it's so far away, but it's incredible. For people who tend to stick to the urban jungle, glaciers are very unusual and unfamiliar environments. But even for those who frequent the trails of the forest and rural areas, glaciers are another world. Uh, we'll need the crampons on all day when we're on the surface of the glacier because it's actually very slippery. It is hard as a rock. It actually is classified as a rock. We want to have fun. We want to have some adventure. But safety is our biggest thing. Instruction and guidance are given at various times during the adventure to address special equipment, procedures, and conditions. Welcome to Climbing 101. Climbing is not a muscle sport. It's not how many pull-ups I can do. It's how many stair steps you can climb. These are professionals from the Exit Glacier Guides Company. Masters leading trips in this icy environment. I'm only moving my, my feet up four or five inches at a time so that you have a really nice stable platform. The guides have an expert understanding of the environment in which they lead, but also how to help establish for their clients a sense of comfort and trust in this unfamiliar world. The ice tools are really useful out here. In order to use them properly, we want to drive this spike in to the ice. We're on an exploratory adventure, one in which we see, feel, and experience new things. Okay, well, let's head out onto the glacier, guys. The surface of the glacier is so vibrant. You can see how this block of ice is melting uh, right before our eyes. So it's not only melting and moving, but it's being forced downhill by the creation of so much snow up above in the mountains. And it literally pushes down the valleys as it overflows with snow. So we get these massive forces at play here. We see water do amazing things to this glacier. It bores these huge holes. The glacier falls down, it cracks open. Some places on the glacier move two to three feet a day. You can feel it underneath you. You can feel the vibration as it slips past the friction of the bedrock below. It jolts you, it's crazy. It makes you really feel like you're minuscule compared to these glaciers. Our day-to-day -day exists taking people out onto Exit Glacier and to Godwin Glacier, either hiking trips or helicopter trips. Essentially, we provide a safe environment for people to get on a glacier and really be intimate with that experience. There's nobody else out here. It's unique because these glaciers aren't gonna be here for very long. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of people to stand on the face of a glacier and look out beside them and see this massive block of ice hanging between two mountainsides. It's an extraordinary opportunity. All of these glaciers in Alaska are remnant of the last ice age we had 10,000 years ago. At the very edges of the glacier is where it's, it's thinnest, where it bulbs up in the middle and then goes down. Oh. So that would have risen even higher. Yeah, absolutely. 200 years ago, we would have be at least, I'd say, a thousand feet above us. It erodes it from the water level. The ice loses its strength and it falls in. And that's why we have this huge cave. And eventually this whole thing will come down upon itself as the water helps transport it and melt it away. Gives you a perspective on the idea that this thing is moving. That's amazing how much melt you've got. That opens up a whole new feature just in one year like that. And a crack like that can become that just in a matter of weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. This is a small ice ledge. Our guide Julian introduces us to some of the bigger features on the glacier to explore. The crack split the stream in half. Well, all the water started to go down the crack and it bores this huge hole 
if it stays in one spot for a long time. This one's on the larger side. It's been here for about a month and a half. Wow, that's incredible how much it's changing for it yep. to be that big, that fast. Yep. So then we'll, we'll get another crack that splits the stream upstream a little bit more, and all the water will then plunge down that one, and this will dry up. It'll be bone dry. So then it becomes this perfect vertical tube all the way down 100 feet or so, and it becomes perfect climbing. Great way to explore the depths yeah. of the glacier yeah. then. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to encounter when you come up here. With something like this can happen that fast. Yep. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it changes every day. Wow. It changes every day. Right now, the stream plunges into the depths of the glacier at this spot. But not long ago, it was scouring away an incredible feature just down the glacier. This massive hole in the ice where this river has carved and milled the ice away. It's called the Mulan because it literally acts like a windmill. If there's another crack that develops higher up on the stream, you'll get a Mulan that starts there. So all the water will start going down that one. Well, it leaves this one dry as a bone, and it's perfect for climbing. We're able to climb them and get this really incredible experience being in the belly of a glacier, looking into hundreds and hundreds of feet of blue ice right before you. One of the most surprising aspects of this trip, not only do you get to hike on the glacier, but you actually get to explore the innards of the glacier. It's so unusual to see an environment this close and intimate like this. It's all sculpted like a block of Swiss cheese. It's like being on an alien planet and, and being in the Mulan in that hole and seeing how big it is. Just trying to take it all in and put words to it is it's hard. The textures were unbelievable. The colors were outrageous. I'm not an avid climber. By not avid, I mean I don't climb. But knowing that this was something that Exit Glacier Guides runs all the time, I felt confident in the, in the guides and Julian who was running the trip. That was a challenge, to trust yourself, to trust the gear, and to, to really kick into the ice and know that you were secure. Part of, I think, a nice climbing trip like this is learning about yourself and learning what you are capable of and having them kind of work with you to achieve that. This is a living, otherworldly place. I've been on glaciers before, but this is totally different. Just ice everywhere. The Mother Mulan, as they, as the guides call it, it just has, has many layers to it. There's paper thin ice, and then there's caverns, and it just goes down so far. This is all carved out by the glacial melt and the silt. You go down in there, and you're surrounded by ice, and it's a totally different world. It is just some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. You feel tiny, and that's an amazing perspective to have. I think that coming to Godwin Glacier, in any glacier, kind of gives you that sense of jaw-dropping awe at what nature can produce. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.